Hello, Booktube. I was stretched out on the couch in the other room, blissfully enjoying myself reading Shakespeare. <laughs> Don't need much prompting to read Shakespeare, but somebody sent me this gorgeous Royal Shakespeare Company Complete Shakespeare. Uh, this lovely thing. Uh, I thought I'd give it a workout. I thought at first that I would just dip in, maybe read some introductions, maybe read some notes. But this morning I found myself reading The Merchant of Venice all over again. <laughs> Uh, but I was in the middle of that when the doorbell rang. I got mail on a Sunday. Uh, it's just one package and it's from Amazon. So I'm wondering if it's something, once again, that will, excuse me, that one of you sent to me as a present to arrive. Uh, but I thought we'd give it a try anyway and see what it is. Uh, it could be something interesting. Uh, oh goodness. Oh gracious. Oh, my little garbage disposal unit here. Oh, your heart's not in it, is it, baby? It's too warm. It's too warm for you to go nuts. <laughs> now she's not even holding on to the package. And God knows what it's going to be like. Uh, as soon as I finish this video, we're going to go for... I ordinarily would say we're going to go for our long walk. Ordinarily, we do a bunch of little walks. Because I always keep in mind, with all of my dogs, that no matter what else I do for them, I do deprive them of one essential freedom. They can't come and go as they please. And there were many, many years of my life, 25 years of my life, where not only could they not come and go as they please, but I had a retail job. So I was gone for nine, ten hours every day. Imagine a nine or ten hour stretch when you can't do anything, when you, you can't get a snack because your food isn't available to you, you can't get any extra water because there's only what's in your bowl, and there's no one around, nothing. You gonna sleep all that time? Maybe you will, but what if you're young? What if you don't want to? What if you want to do something that time? No, nope. no. Nope. For plenty of years where I had to do that, where I had to leave dogs under those circumstances, very familiar circumstances to a lot of you, I'm sure. Uh, and even when that wasn't true, my dogs still never had that essential freedom to come and go as they please. So if Frida asked to go outside, we go. But, uh, but those are scattered throughout throughout a whole day and then it, the, there's one big adventurous ground covering walk that we do one of those a day and we can't do any of that now Frida's requests just a spur a spur of the moment requests to go outside I mostly have to reject them I have to keep her exposure to 95 degree weather to a minimum uh, <laughs> uh, so it, it, so her heart's not really, really in it. It's because sooner or later that weather creeps inside, and it has now, it has now been two days of this, so it has creeped inside. And the worst part is that the worst of it is yet to come. These are warm days, very close here. Feels wonderful to me, absolutely wonderful, not to have that omnipresent, burning, insinuating chill everywhere. That feels so wonderful. Oh my God. I have to keep in mind, though, that it's not just about me. In fact, if you're a parent, it's not only about you. It's not even mostly about you. I have to keep an eye on her. Uh, and my, yesterday was 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Today is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. But Monday and Tuesday are going to be 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's just... So this, it, we have a long stretch to go before we can, we can actually go and stretch a leg. She's a little bit restive right now because she knows that it's about, in her mind, she knows it's about time for us to go on a, a long walk, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not, we're going on a walk, but it won't be long. So what have we got here? Okay, well, this is a, it's a cardboard box, but it's not a book. It's way too light. Way too light to be a book. Oh, I think I know what this is. Oh, great. Okay. This is going to be part of another video. This is, this is actually part of another video. Okay, great. Yes. Uh, this is an adjacent production, an adjacent uh, purchase to, I mentioned the other day that I was naughty. I, I shouldn't be buying any more technology. I have plenty of technology, uh, but I, I wanted to, I wanted to, uh, to buy a 10 inch Kindle fire uh, because I have, uh, this thing, I have the, uh, seven inch Kindle fire. Uh, and I love this device. Absolutely love it. My, my bright red, uh, Macaulay Omnicom. But uh, it's occurred to me uh, many times recently that as much as I love this little device, my absolute favorite form factor for any kind of tablet is the larger size, the 10 inch type, the, 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 the full size iPad sized thing. That is my favorite form factor. 
for any kind of tablet. Uh, and I was realizing, I, was, I mentioned the other day that I, a month ago I put out a call to all of you for EPUB copies of eBooks. And a lot of you have been very generous. You have just sent me many, many, many EPUBs to the point where the iPad on which I was downloading them started notifying me that it was running out of space. And that's when I was reminded of something that I had known about iPad products and forgotten, which is that their storage is not expandable. In order to expand the storage on an, on an Apple product, you have to go to the cloud. You have to go to the Google Cloud. You have to store your stuff electronically in the cloud. You can't store it on the device anymore. There's a limit to what you can do. And that immediately made me think of this, this handheld uh, Amazon Fire. Because you, you see, on one side there's nothing at all. It's a very minimalistic approach. On one side there's nothing at all. On another side there's nothing at all. On the top you have all of the controls because this is meant to be done, this is meant to be used sideways. This is meant to be used as a content consumption device rather than a workhorse item. Rather than a, like a, a laptop. So almost all of your controls are up on the top there. You have the, phone, the headphone jack there. You've got the, uh, the volume. You've got the power button. Uh, and there's one exception to that, and it's on the side here. Can you make it out there? And that's this. This device is expandable. It has expandable memory. You can put a micro SD card in here and expand the memory. Uh, and the minute I realized that, I, I realized that I should be loading ebooks onto Kindles where I can expand the memory, rather than onto an iPad where I can't, and where eventually I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to have to delete stuff in order to fit stuff on. Nobody wants to do that, right? So, so I thought, well, okay, you know that that Kindles are expandable because you can buy a micro SD card with a huge amount of space on it, and you know that you like the 10-inch form factor, the full-size uh, tablet, more than you like this little thing. This thing has not offended in any way. This is a fantastic device, especially after... Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to make it out here. Um, especially after I took the, uh, the time and the minimal trouble to put the Google Play Store on it. Because uh, Amazon devices don't come with it. Amazon, Amazon devices come with the Amazon App Store, uh, which has all sorts of weird poochy esque knockoff versions of the, some of the most essential apps. So you, I wanted to have the Google Play on there, among many other things, so that I could have Google Docs, which I, I live on Google Docs. So, uh, so once I added that, then I, the, I, the, I paid fifty dollars for this thing, and a bright red device that's that's really sturdy and really good. This is a really good Android device. Its only major drawback was that it has an, an Amazon skin on it that you, you just have to get around. It's not hard to do. Uh, there's, there's a moment when you're doing something like that, when you're adding the Google Play Store by sideloading it, there's always a moment in that process where your heart is in your throat because you're thinking, oh my god, what if this doesn't work? What if it hurts my device? What if, it, in addition to not loading, it, it breaks this device? But A, on the one hand, when I put the, the Google Play on this little 8-inch device, I had another one that was black instead of red. Identical device. Just I had it side by side to remind myself that I'm, you're not risking anything to do this. And that, even that, was only a sop to my uh, Irish bog trotter penny pincher uh, DNA because the thing is $50. So what if I break it? <laughs> I know that's a very American thing to say, but it's $50. So what if I break it? I can buy another one. The same thing is going to be true. Uh, I, the naughtiness here is that I ordered the 10-inch uh, Kindle Fire. Uh, and <laughs> it was $100. It was on sale. It was uh, not a lot of money. I, it's to the point where when I am sideloading the Google Play Store onto that 10-inch tablet, which I think is coming soon. I think it will be arriving soon. It's not this box. This box is something else. Uh, I'm just taking my time getting to it because Jason Harrigan isn't the only person with an Irish surname on BookTube who can take his bloody time getting to his point. <laughs> it's actually fairly easy to do <laughs> for some people. <laughs> uh, the, when I'm sideloading the Google Play Store onto that 10-inch tablet, which will be the first thing that I will do with it, I'm sure that my heart will be in my throat, but even there, because I don't have a double of it, obviously. I, I, I have my iPad. I also have a 10-inch Nook, which is not expandable. Uh, but with this, and it's also not as nice. 
this this these Kindle Fires are really nice devices. They are really nice Android devices. Uh, they get a bad rap because they're in they're they're in bed with Amazon. But uh, I'm sure that my heart will be in my throat when I'm when I'm doing that. What is a very minor procedure? If I can do it with no tech ability whatsoever, then anybody can do it. Uh, I'm sure that my heart will be in my throat because in this case I don't have an exact duplicate sitting right there to remind me that I'm not losing anything. But I'm not losing anything. It's a small amount of money. And the chance that a side, that sideloading the Google Play Store will actually disable the whole of this 10-inch fire, those chances are minuscule. The worst possible outcome will probably be that I can't do it. That the latest device, the latest steps for how to install it have somehow been circumvented by Amazon or don't work one way or another. In which case, I have the Amazon App Store which is workable. <laughs> it's, you can actually, I can absolutely work with it, even without. But that'll be the first thing that I'll try. But when I, when I spent the $100 on that 10-inch on that Fire tablet, I thought, you know, it's on sale, and you, you're going to want these things anyway. You always do this. You always penny pinch when it doesn't matter. So instead, I decided to double that price and get the accoutrements that I know I'm going to want and that I always stint on. I don't know why I do that when I'm going to get so much use out of these things. So I ordered two of those accoutrements. Uh, one was a micro SD card, 512 gigs of storage for a micro SD card. That is the maximum that the 10-inch Kindle Fire can support. And that is an astronomical amount of space. Even I will not be able to fill that. I could. That is designed, a, a micro SD card like that, storage capacity like that, is designed for you to fill that storage with movies that you have downloaded for your 12-hour flight across the Atlantic Ocean or something like that. Filling that with ebooks will take a lifetime to do. I'm happy to try, <laughs> but, but uh, I decided just do that. Just in, instead of doing things stupid piecemeal just order the the most storage that this device can handle so that you max it out so i did that and then i ordered this as well because this is another thing that i always want and always stint on and that is a really good case for the device i don't have any case for this not even a screen protector just, i i don't stuff it in bags i don't take it anywhere it's only here and even here <laughs> to paraphrase Nero Wolf, I hardly ever move. <laughs> so, so I didn't think that I, I didn't, I didn't think that I needed a whole mount. That's how I rationalized not getting any protection for this device was that I don't really need it, but I always want it. I always want it. I like a nice, heavy, armored protection for my devices, so that even though I don't travel with them and don't manhandle them, I also don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about them dropping. I don't have to worry about Frida grabbing one. And deciding to throw it around a little just to see if it will squeal in pain. <laughs> I don't have to worry about any of that. When you armor a device like this, I wonder if I have any... Yeah, I do have an example. I got, just the other day, another bit of naughtiness. I think I kept this off my channel. I was so ashamed of it. I bought another MacBook Air. I went through the, the whole melodrama on this channel about how three of the keys on my MacBook Air, my old MacBook Air, are so worn that they look like they're about to crack. And I, I tried to order replacement keys, and they were the wrong ones, and I'm not willing to go through that rigmarole again. So I got a screen protector, a keyboard protector for that MacBook, and then I, I was using that, and then I was noticing that the keyboard protector is just thick enough, which you want it to be, so that it was blunting the feel of the keys while I was typing, which was making me type even harder, and which totally defeats the purpose. <laughs> so instead, I just retired that MacBook Air. I'm sure that I will go back to it at some point. There's got to be a way to reinforce those keys externally, to maybe use some sort of brush-on adhesive that will dry in place on those keys and double and double their strength. There's got to be a way to do that. And there's nothing wrong with that MacBook Air. The MacBook Airs from a few years ago, a decade ago, are workhorses. There's nothing wrong with them. They're still updated. So, but as it is temporarily, I retired it and. Uh, then I started to feel a little lonely. I only had a few MacBooks at that point, and I didn't have a MacBook Air at all, so I ordered another one. <laughs> and just to feel like I wasn't quite the floozy when it comes to tech buying, some of you have pointed out that I have a problem when it comes to buying tech. I do, I admit it. Uh, but just to maybe smooth my feelings just a bit, I did not just go online and get an exact duplicate of that 13-inch MacBook Air. Instead, I got an 11-inch MacBook Air. I've never had an 11-inch MacBook Air. Uh, and I also ordered uh, armor casing for it. 
top and bottom. No keyboard protection, but uh, but an armored casing that allows me to just, you know, that allows this to feel a lot more durable so that I, I don't really have to worry about it falling or bouncing around. And I wanted that same kind of freedom of the peace of mind for this Amazon Fire, this 10-inch tablet that's coming, that'll be here soon, that is the part two to this part one. Uh, so I ordered one of those. I ordered a, a plastic case, and that's what came in this box that Frida has now destroyed. I ordered a, uh, what's it called? Bean, what's the name on this box? Fintai. I ordered a Fintai case, which uh, is really durable for, uh, for protecting your products, but unfortunately there's nothing to protect the box itself. Not from a ravenous miniature schnauzer. <laughs> this precious little that will do that. And this is great. This thing is great. I looked around for uh, for all the different variations, and this is the one I like the most. It's a uh, heavy duty plastic. Uh, it's a uh, framework all around the device. It has uh, this, which is great for holding, but uh, it it this is also a loop that rotates all around. It's perfect for a stand. For your iPad, it's perfect for a stand this way for your iPad, so you get a whole bunch of different angles. And you can also flatten it, and then it's perfect as a handle to use like that. It's nice and sturdy, and you can fold it all back like that, so that, so that you just uh, you just have the device like that, which is great. I, that, that is fantastic. This also comes with uh, all the ports are there, but they have nice... Uh, this looks like industrial rubber. The, the, the uh, framework... The, the inner framework is plastic, but the, uh, the exterior is, is a kind of uh, heavy-duty rubber. And the, the, all the ports are available, or will be available when they're there, but, uh, but they're also, you can also cover them up all the way around the device, which is great. And this thing also comes with a plastic screen protector, which I will, I will take a good, solid, careful 20 minutes when I get my, I, when I get my, uh, my Amazon. I will take a good, solid 20 minutes uh, to just do a very careful, perfect job with installing this, and then, uh, and then that worry will be gone, absolutely gone. I uh, I don't have it with me here now. Oh yes, I do. Uh, the Rad Pad. Uh, it, this is an iPad Air uh, that has. Uh, I think it's a. This is a Gumdrop. Does this, do you have your brand name on you? Yes, uh, Gumdrop. This is a Gumdrop. Uh, heavy rubber case also with cutouts and also with a screen protector and also the cutouts on this are are protected with these sealable rubber things I, and I just love this I was looking for no particular reason I was looking for a cheap iPad Air on I think it was eBay this time around and I found one that was that was refurbished it was dirt cheap and it came with this cover I did not install this I wouldn't know how to take this off I have no idea uh, so I, it, it was dirt cheap, so I grabbed it. <laughs> I don't have a problem. I can stop anytime I want. <laughs> but anyway, this is part one of this uh, new Kindle saga. This is part one, because this is all of the protection that I'm going to need on the device. When it gets to me, it's going to go in here to be protected. Then uh, part two, which I guess is not going to happen today, it being a Sunday, is that micro SD card, which I don't think I need to do. 20-minute video on it. You all know what a micro SD card is. You pop it in the machine and just forget about it. That's that's what I'm going to do in, in, in the 10-inch uh, the version of this thing. Just pry open that door, you pop in the micro SD card, it is flush with the device, you close the door and just forget about it. The device will then ask you, if I remember correctly, the device will then ask you uh, how you want to partition things. Do you want to move existing apps and, co and content onto this uh, card? To free up space on your device or do you want to fill the card with other things and that's a choice I, I will research and think about it because I don't really know do I want to move this micro SD card between devices should I load the card up with books so that the card is my library instead of a device might be interesting to try that uh, one way or another though that is coming a 512 gig micro SD card is coming. God knows how how uh, Amazon is going to package that thing. It's like this big. Uh, and then also the Kindle itself is coming. Now the Kindle itself may be worth another nattering stem winding video. <laughs> uh, but I, we'll, we'll see when the time comes. I'm feeling a trifle embarrassed right now at how much tech I have just within arm's reach without any planning. 
imagine how much I could have if I planned. It reminds me of a, it reminds me of a, a a great classic moment from the good old days when Olive from a book Olive and her hubs would come to visit periodically here at Hyde Cottage and, and get screamed at by my little schnauzer and we would have wine and calzones well into the night uh, and talk about everything. And I remember one time during one visit, uh, Olive's Hubs is a tech guy and has a lot of tech interests and has written some very good tech book reviews for Open Letters. Uh, and I thought, so I thought it might be interesting to show him one of the laptops that I have uh, just in, in my tech drawer. I have a huge tech drawer underneath underneath the depths of Moria. Uh, and so I did, and he plugged it in, got it working, and started looking at it, and he was he was chortling and extorting about, you know, about exclaiming about things that were on it. So then I, I decided to show him another one, and then another one, and then another one, and then another one. And I remember there was a moment when it seemed like the whole thing might go south. It seemed, there was a moment when it seemed like they were maybe thinking, okay, this is the first two were fascinating. Now the question isn't, what is the deal with this particular laptop? Now the question is, why do you have so many laptops? And I have five more since then. So, so <laughs> I could stop anytime I want. <laughs> this one was a need. I know the phone. Oh, never mind. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. That was our Sunday mail. Was the uh, the the fintai protection that is going to go on my new tablet once it arrives <laughs> and then we will see my my the one thing i'm curious about here i know that i will love this thing and i especially if the if the side loading of the google play store works the one thing that i'm curious to see i suppose it's an easy question to answer but i'm, I'm a little on the sentimental side will it completely subvert this machine will i ever use this again i honestly don't know if it will or not i have two of these i have uh two kindle e-ink devices and I have a 10-inch a Nook device. It was Mar Barnes & Noble's uh, e-reader device, tablet device, that I don't think they're going to make anymore. Uh, and now I'll have this new one. And I'm wondering, it, the, the new one is just going to be a bigger version of this. And I'm wondering if that means I'll never use this again. I'm curious to know. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, you might not find out. I might not put you through it, but I will find out. But anyway, that was Sunday Mail. I will decide whether or not I want to upload this. Probably I will. Those, some of you might be gluttons for punishment. Uh, we'll be back to talking about books tomorrow, I guarantee you. <laughs> Thank you, Book 2.